But, Madam Deputy Speaker, neither Newcastle United nor the Premier League consider themselves accountable to fans. And as many constituents have made clear to me, fans feel powerless before the slow destruction of what we believe in. Newcastle United is the beating heart of our city. We should be able to protect it. Madam Deputy Speaker, that goes to the heart of the matter. Why is it you can buy a stately home in the wilds of Wiltshire and you can't change a window frame, but you can buy Newcastle United in the heart of Newcastle and strip it of its assets without so much as an eyebrow being raised? Why is it that football is left largely to regulate itself when other businesses, from pubs to social media companies, must meet social requirements? I know the Minister recognises the importance of football clubs and the custodian role of owners. She said so in the recent debate on Coventry City. So will she now show that she will put recognition into action? Will the Minister launch an inquiry into the reporting requirements of Premiership clubs using Newcastle United as a test case? Will she ensure this inquiry answers the financial questions I have raised? Will she ensure supporters have a voice on football club boards, as, as Labour has called for? Will she make reputable custodianship a requirement of club ownership, as the fit and proper person test is clearly not fit for purpose? Madam Deputy Speaker, it is with great sadness that I say I have come to the conclusion that football is broken. Its governance has not kept space with its income, and money has won over sport. We cannot turn back the clock, but we can put in place effective regulation so that financial transparency enables the beautiful game's true splendour to shine forth once more.